Hi guys and welcome back to our tutorial series. Uh, first of all I'd like to apologize for not uploading any tutorials. Uh, this is a simple reason. If you cannot tell I've got the cold because I don't sound like this normally and uh, from Monday up to now my cold was really bad. I couldn't even speak and if I try to speak I sound like a squeaking girl which is annoying. So <coughs> recording tutorials are out of the question. So now Today I'm going to be teaching you the advanced scope view. So basically it's like um, if you guys play first person shooter games and you get a sniper rifle and then get a normal machine gun. Now if you zoom in both of those guns, obviously the sniper rifle scope zooms in four times and it goes to eight or whatever you want to do it to. That's what I'm going to teach you today and if you get a normal machine gun it has nothing, no effect sometimes. It's just like a normal scope. So I'm going to show you what a normal scope looks like. <clears throat> looks like. So if I run this game at the moment, and as you can see, I'm using one of my old projects just to show you because this gun was pretty good, had a good scope. So I can show you on this. Now if I zoom in, everything at the moment looks the same when I'm not zoomed in. Even if I zoom in, it's the same thing. Nothing looks different. Now this is quite tough when it comes to shooting bad guys if they're very far away it's quite hard to get headshots or you know whatever so <clears throat> now if I turn on the new scope view which is a zoomed one which is a pro only effect I'm sorry guys so if you have pro you can do this if you don't have so then you won't be able to do it I'm sorry now if I zoom in as you can see the scope is zoomed in everything is zoomed in so much that you can see everything from a further distance I can see that from there I can see that and that's what I'm teaching you today <clears throat> and it's a very short tutorial it's not that hard to do as well so I'm going to delete all of this stuff I'm also going to delete this okay now the first thing you want to do is you want to go to game object create other and then select camera okay that's nice positioning that's fine now I want to place this camera around here well actually about here that's fine and then I'm going to change the nade clip to 0 0.1 and then the far to 9000 and then the field of view you can do whatever you want you can either tell the scope to zoom back obviously you don't want to do that you want to zoom forward so I'm gonna zoom it so much that that small cube at the very end it's viewable now I've set it to 8.0 sorry 8.08333 I'm gonna save this now that's what the camera is looking at now in unity pro you have something called render textures now that texture can render what your camera is looking at and I, in order to create one right click on your project area and then you have some select create sorry and then you have something called render texture now select that rename that to scope field of view times 2 I don't know I'm just going to name it something and at the moment you can see at the bottom there it's got nothing no textures applied to it but this is going to render from our camera so it's going to be seeing where our camera is looking at. Now in order to do that, select the new camera we just created. And if you go down to the camera's properties, you have something called target texture. Now in that, you have to put the render texture. So I'm going to drag scope field of view times 2 into that. Now what happens is, scope field of view times 2 is now going to be displaying what the camera is looking at, as you can see down there. And it's all real time. So if I change this position to let's say here you're gonna see that displayed onto the texture like so so I'm gonna put that back where it was <coughs> okay oh, that's that out of the way that's that out of the way uh, I'm gonna rename the camera to scope zoom cam then I'm gonna drag that into the main camera and then in order to apply the render texture 
I need to create a new plane. Now the scope already has a plane and another plane on the other side and one that has the dot. I'm not going to use these. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make another plane and place it inside of that. So it's like a mirror that you can't see from the other side but only from the front view. So go to create other and plane. Uh, I'm going to rotate this 90 by 180 on the Y. There we go. <clears throat> it's going to resize this so it fits inside of the scope. Uh, I'm just going to press F to zoom in. It's going to place that somewhere nice. At the moment, it's outside of the scope glass, so I want to drag it in. It's in the right place at the moment. So, right there. Like you can see in the scope right down there, you see the white plane? As long as you can see that, then you're okay. Now you can see it's reaching out of the edges, so I'm just gonna squeeze it in and stretch it. Okay, now the easy part. Rename the plane to lens zoom <clears throat> and then drag lens zoom into the gun. So the gun is basically the whole of the gun, which is all this, all of that. And on lens zoom, we want to apply our render texture, which is scope field of view times two. And now that that plane will be rendering our camera's <coughs> camera's view. So now if I run the game. and I look around as you can see in the scope you can see things already zoomed in this is pretty neat so <clears throat> now if I look at the steps before there was nothing going on but this time as you can see it's zoomed in and it's zoomed in quite a lot now if I look at one of these small cubes you can see how it makes a big difference it's a really good feature to have and it makes your lens look a lot cooler and don't forget guys this is pro only so if you have pro you can do this if you don't then there's no point trying there you have it guys and that's all you have to do to make a advanced lens view and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial uh, don't forget to rate comment and subscribe so anyway guys take care